Alright, so welcome back. So last time we got, or Estelle got rescued by her father, who didn't seem all too impressed that she, well, he seemed okay I guess. Not super impressed, but that they managed to rescue the two little kids, but then he said that they didn't complete the job fully, and then said go report the job at the guild and then come back home. So, let's head home. And we also have a letter to deliver him as well. Hey, Joshua. Huh? Do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with a staff. And your noisy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If that hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh? If we fail today, then all that's left to do is take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua... You're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're not... You're going to see me ang... You're gonna see my angry expression if you keep that up. <laughs> okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time, and thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe Glutton is closer to the mark than Ditz. Glutton. as to when Joshua agreed to become, I guess, adopted by uh, the Bright family. Okay. Let's go deliver the letter and the news. Right, where is he? Is he in here? There he is. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I wanted that cop. I got that copy of the liberal news you wanted. There was a letter for you at the guild, too. A letter, huh? Well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad... Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams, I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. <laughs> I guess she's not as depressed as I thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much, I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Uh, oh no, are the eggs supposed to explode like that? I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try. No way, cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more. Uh, that daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling what we can expect to have a bite when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. <laughs> Alright then, let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? 
Cassius cuts the letter seal. Hmm, a message from the Erbonian Empire. What? Wow, this is a surprise. <laughs> the new dish is what I call Estelle's egg explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will, your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is raw talent at its best. Today's certainly been a busy but a great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. At first I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Uh, thanks, Dad. Wait, wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time I'm going to be away for a while. Uh, hold on a minute. You're leaving- when? Tomorrow morning. Uh, what? I don't care what kind of job you're doing, that's too soon. It's about the letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll be about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept it, Estelle. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but... What are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Roland Branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, and... How about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazard to handle the difficult ones. So, what do you say? Um... I guess we can do it, sure. Sure, of course we will. You're okay doing these too, right Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your name while you're gone. Oh Estelle, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh my dear Lena, 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 Lena? Oh my dear Lena, who art in heaven. Can you see your daughter now? Lena, I will go with Lena. Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter, and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. I, I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Gransel or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one headed for Gransel. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm clock just in case. Are you still awake, Joshua? You'd better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. This is just a way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is, don't offer alcohol to minors. I'm not like Shara who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. <laughs> That's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? 
There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erbonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Erobian... Erobian... Erobon... Erebonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like the babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same thing can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yes, it sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. But I'd like, to, uh, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family, no matter what may befall you. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. Prologue, a father's love, a new beginning. So I guess we finished the prologue, chapter one, I'm assuming, maybe? Which I think this is the... I think I saw this little scene here, and that's basically the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. So, treading new territory after this. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard, overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know? Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. Charizard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last moment of the minute. Please, don't be. I am slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Street. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. It's tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? <laughs> it looks like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. Right, the, the Grand Soul Bound Airliner Lynn will be departing shortly. All passengers please board the airship now. Oh, I better take my seat. Great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. I'm not sure everywhere you'll be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey now, this is a trip for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it, though. Alright, you two. Be good while I'm gone. Father, he'll have it done before you know it. 
I'm not sad that he's gone. He's always been away more than he's been at home. Alright, alright, if you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on these jobs your father left for me. But if you run into any trouble, give me a holler. Will do, but first I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as Junior Bracers. <laughs> if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks. We'll do our best. So, what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go stop by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Ina and find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! Okay. Nothing back here. Let's go to the guild, if I remember where it is. Find the shiny rock and Milch Main Road Monster. So what do we have to do? I'd like someone to find my shiny rock. Please speak with me directly for the details. I think I might have dropped it behind the Melder's Purple Factory. Client is Charles. Where the hell do I find Charles? And then we have a ferocious monster known as a pine plant has been spotted roving the Milch Main Road. Raised from the branch, I requested to deal with this threat immediately. Good pay though. This one's terrible pet. This one's good pet. Where am I gonna find Charles though? Let's talk to her. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. And that's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here, isn't that where Teo lives? Teo, I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Teo Purzel, she was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Purzel farm owner's daughter. Oh, really? It's actually the Purzel farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head there right now. Here, take this with you. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, but we'll take it just in case. I don't think these are related though. Where the heck am I gonna find Charles? I don't even know who Charles is. Oh, is Charles though? This guy? No, you're Melders. Are you Charles? Oh my gosh. There we go. No, you're Freddy. Charles? This is really weird. Where could it have gone? Oh, excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right, one that sparkles. You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. When you say the general goods store, you mean Mr. Renon's store, right? Did you look in front of his store? Obviously, that's the first place I looked. You don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. But why aren't you a charmer? Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. If you do happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. I'll probably be around. Hmm. Here, and then you ran straight to. So, did he run around this way? Maybe? Because this 
this to General Goods? No, the General Goods store is this one. Mm, oh. Hold up a sec. What is it? I can see something shining down there through the sewer grate. Where? Where? Let me have a peek. Oh, you're right, I see something sparkling down there. It looks like it must have fallen down into the sewers through the grate. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know, the smelly, monster-infested place that we were... in not that long ago? Oh, right, those sewers. We went there during our practical training, right? The entrance to the sewers should just be behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, how about we check it out a little later? Sure, let's do that. Alright, we will do that. Um, right here. Enter the sewers. Alrighty. Preemptive attack. Nice, one shot. That's good, good stuff. And a bonus critical, which I'm hoping will be a one shot as well. All good. Probably don't give much experience. Though, yeah, only four experience, probably not even worth. It. But I get the sepith, which is worth getting, I suppose. Maybe these will give a little bit more harder to kill, I suppose. Nope. No. All right, we're good to go. Another preemptive attack. Oh, this has three of them. Let's move out! But a lot of Sepith. And a crisp onion. Uh, hmm, I see now. The thing we saw shining through the sewer grate was this. Seems like it. A quartz fragment, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This is made of septium too, right? Loosely speaking, yes. But let's talk about it later. This isn't really the place to have a leisurely chat. I guess you're right. No normal person would want to stay here any longer than they had to. Right. So do we go right to the boy or do we go to the guild? That I do not do. Let's go to the guild. Report. Currently there's nothing to report. Alright. We have to go talk to the boy. There we go. Hey! Is that rock? Could it be that this is the rock you've been looking for? Yep, this is the one, my shiny rock! Why is it all dirty like this? Hey, don't you have something else to say before you can play? You guys are bracers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild, therefore I think I have the right to complain. Th that's not the problem here. Calm down, Estelle, he's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one. This rock is really quartz? You mean the same kind of quartz that's in an orbman? Yep, that's the same kind of quartz made of sepith. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an orbman. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who, me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot. Here, take these. So we got drill meatballs. My mom gives these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's a difficult age for him, but I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do you mean? Now that you mention it, it does seem a little strange. But, oh well, everyone has something they think is important. 
Truer words couldn't have been spoken. Perhaps this kid has an interest in ornaments. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets. My brain goes numb just thinking about them. Except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Alright, alright, I'll try and learn. Alright, finish that quest. Nice. So I guess now's a good time to take a break, and not really sure what we'll pursue next time. We might do that other one, kill a monster, and then we'll go over to the farm, Teo farm, and uh, solve the issue there with they have the monsters. So, until next time, thanks for watching.